New this morning, a former cook at Park Creek Juvenile Facility in Ellensburg has been accused of having sexual relationships with minor boys who were incarcerated at the facility. And this is according to an investigation from the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office. And Sophia Lesios joins us this morning with details on this investigation. Good morning, Sophia. So what do we know about this case? Hi, good morning, Jessica. Well, I did have a person who wanted to remain anonymous send me an entire packet in the mail of documents from the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office. Now, this investigation is looking into Don McLaughlin, a former kitchen staff member at Park Creek Community Facility, serving young men. The documents claim that McLaughlin had sexual relationships with two underage boys for a couple of years. The detailed incident report states this inappropriate relationship was first brought to the attention of the authorities by Don McLaughlin's former husband, Chris McLaughlin, who Don called crying, telling him she had had a sexual relationship with one of the minor boys at the facility for two and a half years. She manipulated the system and exploited weaknesses and kind of scenes within that system to do what she did. The report says Chris McLaughlin and Don were already in the process of getting a divorce when she called him. He says he immediately called Child Protective Services and reported his soon-to-be ex-wife. So it wasn't as if she made a mistake that, that anybody could have made in good faith. The report states that in the initial investigation, Sunrise Second Chance Foundation and CPS found photos and sexually charged convos from the victim's phone. The investigation was taken over by the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office. During the interview with Chris and KCSO, he told investigators that Don told him she had been drinking all the time and at work. He also told deputies that she was admitting to him that she was about to be in big trouble because she had sex with an underage boy who at the time was 16 years old and she was 44. What our investigation found was that she and the juvenile talked about things that could be considered grooming behaviors. Deputies say during a conversation between Don and Chris, Don implied sexual contact with the boy had been non-consensual on her part, and Chris did admit to KCSO that Don could be easily manipulated. When speaking to Kittitas County Sheriff's Office, Inspector Chris Woodset tells me there is also another underage boy that Don was involved with as well. I also reached out to Park Creek, and they told me they did not want to comment on the investigation. It's an unfortunate thing that occurred where... We're concerned for the welfare of all the kids in our county, including the kids who are here for even a brief time at a juvenile facility uh, that's a part of our county. So we're glad to be able to bring what we believe will be justice in this case. Now, this still is an ongoing investigation, and I did not include all of the details into the report. But if you would like to read more about the investigation on Don McLaughlin at Park Creek, you can head on over to our website, NBCRightNow.com. And Don is scheduled to have her next court hearing at the Kittitas County Sheriff's Office on October 18th. Jessica?